What's going on guys? So finally a video showing my Nintendo Switch collection so far. So um, I have had an, my Nintendo Switch, not this exact one, but I've owned a Nintendo Switch since like literally about a year ago. Um, I got it uh, like on offer on eBay when there was like, um, it's like a 20% off kind of thing. You know when they have them, them voucher codes and stuff. So I basically got the Super Mario Odyssey edition, which I'll show you on screen right now. So I have owned that for quite a while. And then ever since uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee got released this year, I've really wanted that console um, edition, so I basically ended up buying it on Boxing Day, and then I also I got rid of my Super Mario Odyssey edition in a trade deal for a really high-end exp expensive retro game. So um, that will be in a, a pickups video that you will see. So yeah, basically I'll show you my collection right now. So I have obviously I've got the Let's Go Pikachu one. I thought I will stick with Pikachu and it's it's just such a really nice looking console and you get the Pokeball Plus with this one which allows you to get Mew in the game. Mew is like contained in the Pokeball. That's a, that's a really nice touch as well like on the tab. Yeah, Pikachu and Eevee like outlines on that. So that's basically how it, it turns up. Um, so I've obviously I've taken the console out. I will show you uh, the console. And then one of the um, little extra bits that you can add on the end of the Joy-Cons, you basically, when you disconnect the Joy-Cons, you add them onto the end and it just gives you that like bit more of a grip. It makes them obviously like that, like a more rounded shape. So that's out at the minute because I've been recently playing it a lot. So I've been attaching it to that. Cause you can just play it with like the one Joy-Con or you can play it with the uh, Pokeball like controller. So... That's what it looks like at the back as well. You can see like those those outlines there of Pikachu. So that looks amazing. And then that's obviously the stand bit that you can bring out to uh, stand the console up. And uh, I've got a screen protector on that as well. And then obviously some of the contents I've already got out. So like obviously the wires and everything, they're all hooked up. So obviously if you, you take this out, um, I don't think I've got anything left to show you. I've left it like as immaculate as possible because obviously I'm a collector and I really, really take care of everything. So there's basically just bubble wraps and manuals left in there. So I'll show you um, obviously the things that I've took out to play the game with. Um, so the game comes as a digital download. It's basically pre-installed on the console. So then you download it to the store off the store and then it's linked to your account uh that was the same with uh super mario odyssey so i did the same with that um so getting a new console i didn't lose it so that was really good so obviously i have super mario odyssey still installed on mine because i obviously logged in my account on this and then i managed to bring it over so which is really cool so this is the docking station you have pikachu and eevee on there and then obviously that bit comes down and then you can stand it there when you've got it stood on like the floor or obviously a, a worktop or something. And then there are your connections. So you've got a USB, you've got the one for the AC adapter and then you've got HDMI. So obviously you can hook it up to your telly if you need to. A couple of USB ports there as well. So this is the Pokeball Plus controller that comes with it. Um, you can't you can't see it like if, if you're from a fab but this is actually a little uh, joystick analog stick kind of thing and then that is actually a button so you can control it just by playing it like this um which is what i do for some part of the game sometimes i just have the one joy con in my hand but then sometimes i do keep this as well because then obviously when you run into a pokemon you can actually throw it like um it's not always that accurate when the Pokemon are like playing up when they're like moving from side to side, but uh, yeah, it is a really nice touch that you can actually do that. And when I when I bought this, um, I played it for like nine hours straight for like the first day, and then by the end of it, because of like my my movements, like that thing was aching, <laughs> like near my elbow. It was like it was like aching near there because I was I was like obviously catching that many <laughs> and everything. So yeah, so I'll obviously show you guys what games I own for the system. Some of them um, I've recently got, and then obviously a few that I've had quite a while. So when I'd not long uh, had my uh, Switch, I um, obviously got Mario Kart, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's absolutely incredible game. It really is. Phenomenal Mario Kart game. So along with that, I actually bought these off Amazon. I got 
a Mario wheel. So you just obviously, as you can see, simple enough. So simple to do, obviously, for kids as well. And then had to obviously get the Luigi wheel as well. It was I'm sure there was about twelve ninety nine each or something like that. So obviously they're all just really nice and boxed at the moment. And then I also got a pro controller. These are a bit of a hefty price. I think they're still about 50, 60 quid. So that is really nice. It's really nice for playing um, just more like adventure games or games that you're you know, a bit more sucked into. But I mean, it's still all right for like Mario games and things like that. Um, pretty nice like precision controls as well. So I basically, I've used that for like games like Skyrim and stuff. So I picked up Skyrim because it was literally a just cause purchase. I've, I've got it on Xbox One, the uh, like remaster, but it's incredible how obviously you can play such a huge game like Skyrim. You can play it handheld. It's incredible. So really happy to have that. I bought that pretty early on. And I will show you, this is the controller that you can obviously, this is what you slip the Joy-Cons into. Really nice feeling controller. It really is. Uh, really nice and lightweight as well. So I've I've quite enjoyed slotting the Joy-Cons in that and playing like um, Mario Brothers and things like that with it. Just because of the small buttons kind of thing. It's like I said, I quite like having the Pro Controller for the more, just the games that suck you in, kind of, sort of story, adventure kind of games. So this is the Pro Controller. So it is like really nice, really sleek kind of design. It's similar to the Xbox because of obviously the analog, um, the joystick placements, basically. So this is a recent one that I got. I got this for £35.99 at Argos. Uh, some of these I've shown in a recent pickups video, but obviously because this is my Nintendo Switch collection so far, we'll obviously show them again. So it's obviously based on the, the retro game Toki retro lector edition and then in this you get the sticker sheet the game obviously uh two lithographs and then an arcade cabinet which basically you build um i'll show you it and then a comic book so i've not actually assembled my little arcade cabinet with this yet um but obviously if you want to see it obviously look at a youtube video on it there's some that have built and stuff so yeah you get all the bits like that, so I'm sure it's pretty simple enough to build. It's a really, really nice touch, that is. It really is. And then I was a tiny bit disappointed about the um, comic book. Basically, half of it's English and half of it's French, because obviously I, I guess they have to just balance the, the language and whatever. So this is our version, and then this is the, the French cover. So you start from ours, and it, it literally goes up to about there. So you're seeing that, but you're getting about half of the comic. Obviously, it's going to go up to there. Because the rest of it, you have to flip it over and then the rest of it's French, basically. Just like on the the, the cover of the game and everything, um, there's obviously the French alternative language to ours. So I've not actually played it yet. I've not played the original yet, but um, it, it looks like an amazing game, uh, the original. It, it's only about a tenner. Um, I'm surprised I haven't picked it up yet, to be honest. I'll, I'll pick it up very soon when I can. Um, I've been focusing on more the high-end retro games, to be honest. That's why I haven't yet picked it up. So I'm sure it might be like pretty much a remake of it. I don't think there's anything added to it as far as I know. I think it's pretty much a remake of the original. So I will show you the couple of lithographs. <laughs> so that is Toki with like a, an enemy slash boss there. And then there is this one. And this is the sticker set of Toki and the other characters. So I've just kept these just really nicely, obviously packed away uh, in the box. And then I've left the game out just so I can like easily get to it. I can stack it up my, with my other games. So the arcade cabinet, I just think it's a brilliant touch and I really hope more games get onto this, to be honest. So obviously you can um build that assemble it and then uh, take your joy cons out your switch put your switch screen into there and then obviously you can just hold your joy cons then view it that way as if you're playing like a, a small arcade cabinet so really hope more games get that idea proper nice touch that so i couldn't pass that up um so yeah toki the retro lector edition so what else have i got I also got Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy because you have to have Crash Bandicoot on the go. <laughs> I 
I actually haven't um, even got the uh, Spyro Reignited trilogy yet because I'm waiting for it to come out on the Switch because I'm sure it will do, just like it eventually came out, Crash Bandicoot. So hopefully that will as well. Now, I never played this on the Wii U, so obviously this is a, a way for me to experience it on the Nintendo Switch because I've never owned a Wii U. So this is Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze and I've really enjoyed what I've played of it. So you also get to play as Funky Kong on this. Um, funky mode makes the hardest levels a breeze. So it seems like it's a, a bit of an easier option on this. But yeah, really enjoyed what I've played this so far. I'm a massive fan of Donkey Kong. Uh, now I picked this up um, fairly later on. This one. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Because I've not like been massively into Zelda games. I've I'd never played one, honestly. And I've, I've put a few hours into this and I've really enjoyed it so far. I really have. So it's it's obviously held its value as well. I end up getting it with CEX credit. So really good game so far. And I'll show you an accessory set before I show you the last few games. So I got this Skyrim accessory set. So you have like a nice little um, screen wiper there. So it also comes with a screen protector there. And basically a, a controller kind of thing for your Joy-Cons to pop in there. And a nice carry case there. So I'll show you right now. Basically, these bits go on the side of the Switch. It's all like Skyrim themed and everything. It says Skyrim there on it as well. And then that goes on the back. So these are obviously for the for the sides of the Switch. And then you can pop your Switch screen. I've got that many things on it, honestly. <laughs> pop your Switch screen into there. And then that's obviously the back of it. So really nice protective case there. Um, I've had that on a few times like when I've been out and stuff. And then this is what you can pop your Joy-Cons into. So really nice uh, nice Skyrim like kind of controller there. And then this is a really nice uh, protective case to pop it in when you go out. And then this is a, a cool screen wipe there. That was really cool that. So yeah, it's a nice little um, accessory set if you're if you're into Skyrim, like I am. <laughs> so the last few games, guys. A uh, couple of really cool retro compilations, these are. So first one, Sega Mega Drive Classics. So there's over 50 on here. Um, and it's obviously, you've got all the classics. So you have all the Sonics, um, except for Sonic 3. I'm not sure why, possibly licensing issues, I'm assuming. You have all the Streets of Rage ones, Toe Jam and Ale, Alex Kidd. Uh, you have uh, Columns, Dr. Robotics, Mean Bean Machine. I absolutely love that puzzler game. Uh, All the Golden Axe, Fantasy Star, Secret of Shinobi, Rai Star. There's so much on here. Um, I think it really is one of the best compilations that I own and that I've played. So I really would recommend it, guys. It's about 25, 30 quid. I did have it on the PS4, but Nintendo Switch any day. Uh, I traded in my PS4 copy. And games like this, I want to have them either on my TV and on the go, which is obviously such an upside of the Switch. It really is. And then this one, not actually had a chance to play it yet, and I don't know much about it. SNK 40th Anniversary Collection. So on this, uh, it included about like 14 games or something on release, but then um, I think about another 8 games or 10 games or something like that are available at a later date. You download them off the store. So since I bought this, there has been like one update so far, um, and I... I uh, downloaded like an extra two or three games it was so like you say it comes with about 14 or 15 games on but there are more games to come so it obviously makes it worth it this was about 30 quid and um shop two and things like that the the website they uh was selling out of it and everything so i managed to get it off uh, an ebay seller for about 30 quid so i thought i'll grab it before it ends up possibly getting a bit harder to get hold of and then the final one is not long been releasing it uh, arrived the other day Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe so on this you have it says 164 courses because it includes new Super Mario Brothers U and new Super Luigi U which were out for uh, uh, the Wii U so proper cool uh, so you can play as Mario Luigi uh, I think it's Toadette and also um, it's like this really annoying little character I think it's like that one you get to play as as well or something like that so you have a few character options there so I'm really enjoying this and obviously 
great value for money 164 courses on this it says so there's, there's some cool mini games throughout as well that you come across i don't have the cartridge in there because it's actually in my switch but yeah that's obviously the world map i'm around i'm around like there at the moment um yeah there's so much to explore anyway so really enjoying it and like i said i'd rather just get it on launch because there's no point in waiting for it to obviously come down in value because obviously the the mario games especially in all the other very popular nintendo mascots you know kirby legend of zelda donkey kong they all just hold their value so i thought i'm just getting it straight away i'm not hanging about because shop two are sold out of this as well um so it, it's crazy so it's obviously a big demand for this game because that's what we've been waiting for for the switch haven't we first super mario brothers game for the switch so yeah that's my nintendo switch collection so far guys i really hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing what i've collected so far so my future pickups for the nintendo switch will be featured on my uh, pickups videos but i've had to make this video as a bit of a catch-up because at the time when i purchased my original switch um i didn't get to show it on video or anything so uh yeah i thought i'd just update with everything i've got so far for this console so what are your favorite switch games did you enjoy anything from this video or if you want to let me know what you love for the switch do let me know guys i hope you've enjoyed the video guys so take care and i will see you in a bit take care guys